Hey everyone. So in this tutorial, um, it's basically meant for like family reunions, uh, meeting your boyfriend's parents for the first time if you're like around my age. Um, just trying to look like you like to wear makeup, but you don't want people to be like, oh look at your makeup. You want to be like, oh wow, look at your eyes. Like stuff like that. That's how I like to um, basically look. So like I wanted to do this for like a holiday eyes around Christmas, um, but that didn't work out. So this is what it's used for. You could also use this for like an office party or a baby shower. So this is just uh, going out for a nice gathering and you don't want to look too prima donna, I guess. Um, so the story behind this look though is I haven't been getting much sleep lately. And, and when I do, it's like during the day, it's not at night. And so I was up still at 2 p.m. I haven't really fallen asleep, so I decided to do this eye. And um, my battery wasn't charged, so I was like, crap, well, I'll charge my, my battery, and then I'll do this eye and go grocery shopping. I fell asleep on the couch. I charged my battery, but I fell asleep. So this eye has been on since 2 p.m., so if it looks different, that's why it's actually worn in. I tried to touch it up a little bit, but this eye is nice and fresh, and it's like, what, 10 p.m.? So if they look different, it's a little bit because of that, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys take any pointers I give you in this and you use them or if you like this look you actually do this look and if you do end up using this look please do a video response or send me maybe I should put like an email on my channel and you guys can send me the looks that you guys are doing that would be amazing alright so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you in a second bye alright so to start off this look you just use a base um, a primer whatever you want to use I just want to use one that canceled out my entire eye so I use Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Supply that with my finger all over from lash line to my eyebrow. Alright, the next thing, the first shadow I'm going to use is going to be Paradisco, which is this corally orange color. Um, I think a color came out with Hello Kitty that looks like it, or this is it. I don't know. So I'm going to use my 217 brush, and I'm going to apply this into my crease. Okay, so you're just going to do little circles into the crease. Remember, you don't want to put your eyebrows up, you don't want to pull anything, because when you relax your eyes, it's going to be a different, totally different placement. So just look right at the mirror. And you're just going to add this starting out here and just bring it over. Okay, once you have that done, it should just be kind of dark here and then it blends over. Everything's going to blend together. This is just the first color you need to put down. Um, and then the lid color is going to be all that glitters. I'm just going to apply this with my 239 brush just onto my lid. And I just tap it on um, just like this. Makes it more vibrant. And less fallout if you have uh, problems with fallout on any shadows. Oh no, Penelope's scratching at the door. <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't look like much now, but this is what your eye looks like right now. So the next color I'm going to take is that coral color. I that on with my 272 brush. Just roll it right on in. And starting right here using the most concentration so it's darker on the outside and then pulling it over just like you do with the pair, just go little circles and the farther you are away from the like top of the brush the more soft it's going to be and it's going to blend itself if you put your hand right here and try to put your eyeshadow on it's going to put it directly there and it's going to be so dark the entire way so the farther you hold it away the easier it is for the color to go on softer and everything will just blend itself beautifully Remember to always check the other eye to make sure you're matching. I have it magnetized right here, like really, really just like right on my face. And then I have a mirror right here. So I'm going to keep looking back and forth to make sure it's even. All right. Getting closer. So you've used three colors already. The fourth color is going to go into your crease also. And this is soft brown. Now, if you're a darker skin tone than I am, I would use a little bit darker of a brown. But I'm 
NW15, so the soft brown is dark enough for me, but you can also use like cork, um, saddle if you're like NW25 to the 30s. Use something that's good for your skin tone. Um, you don't have to use this exact color. I'm just going to swirl this in with a big fluffy brush. I'm using the 224. Tap off any extra and we're going to pull that in to join the other colors. So the highlight I'm going to use, I just want to use a matte color that's kind of my skin tone again. I'm using Mylar. And I'm going to be using this with my 119 brush. And I'm going to start at the highest point, which is this awful arch I have right now. I need to get my eyebrows done so bad. And you're just going to blend that top edge out with this color and this brush. Just keep using this. You could also use a 227 to do this. So before I do my eyeliner, I'm actually going to pop a little bit of Mylar into my inner tear duct. And blend it up. Um, I don't want it to look like there's so much lightness right there. So that's why I'm not using a really shimmery color. Just something nice and soft. And then if you want to, you can pull the all that glitters underneath your lash line. Or if you want to pull a darker color too. I just like for it to look like there's not much there, but if you really study my eyes, you can see that there's like a little something. Alright, so now I'm going to put on my eyeliner, and what I'm using for my eyeliner is Dip Down Fluid Line. And I'm just going to be using a really, really tiny brush so you get a nice little line. Okay, so for mascara, I'm actually using two different mascaras because I want my top lashes to be really, really, like, high. <laughs> um, they're both from Clinique. One is called... High Impact Mascara, and the other one's called Lash Doubling Mascara. I'm going to put the black one on first, and then follow it with the light green one. Alright, so the eyes are done. Like it. Um, on my cheeks, I already did those a long time ago. <laughs> I'm going to just use Well Dressed, which is really good for NW15 to like the NW25 range. It shows up very nicely. Um, foundation colors. And for my lips, I'm just going to use a lip gloss. I'm using Pink Kiss from um, e.l.f. Because it's easier to keep this on and keep applying this than it is for lipstick, I believe. And this wears off a lot better than lipstick, so it doesn't look like you had all this lipstick on and then all of a sudden you keep drinking with um, the family members and everything and or eating. So, I just think it's easier. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone.